Hi guys, welcome to my yarn chat. My name is Nicole and I am the brains and the beauty behind Yarn Craft by Nicole. Today I want to show you my featured make, which is my own design. This is the Simple Stretch Beanie, which honestly, since it, winter has really hit Michigan, I have been wearing this a lot. It's a really beginner friendly pattern that uses the extended single crochet. I mean, look at that texture. And then it has a little bit of ribbing at the bottom and I, I really am a fan of this hat. I like hats like this that just have a nice gradual increase, a top down structure. And I've made one that's a two tone that was orange and gray that I really liked. But it's awesome if you have like a skein of worsted weight yarn that you're not quite sure what to do with. Very simple, very beginner friendly. And that is a simple stretch baby. I actually made a modified version for my husband out of some chunky yarn. I made it basically uh, following this pattern at first and I blocked it and it was just way too deep. So I took out a couple of rows and hopefully I'll get some pictures of him in it because he has started wearing it now that it's cold here as well. Um, I, I will say, one, I am very, very fortunate that my husband takes an interest in my fiber arts and yarny stuff, which is great. And he knows what blocking is. And even when I finish a project and he's like, oh, have you blocked it yet? Like he knows what that means. But what was truly magical is when I had him try on the hat and it was too big. And I was like, man, like, oh, I'm so frustrated. And I was like, it's okay. I can still figure out how to fix it. And then later I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna take it apart, take it out a couple rows and then I'll recrochet it. Um, I'll recrochet the brim. And he's like, you can do that after you block it. I'm like, Yes. <laughs> yes, I can. That is the beauty about making our own accessories and our own clothes. It's like if it doesn't really work out, you can kind of alter it and make it make it make sense. So I love him. He's great. Today I have one finished project. I have to weave in some ends, but other than that, it's finished. And then the rest are current whips. So the first one I'll show you is my finished object. Um mother-in-law if you're watching this you need to skip ahead like a minute maybe a minute and a half to be safe this is a gift and that is the tricolor linen stitch triangle shawl it's a mouthful but it's gorgeous look at this oh I love it so much um this used three colors from Malabrigo and they absolutely play gorgeously together and I still have like maybe a third of a skein of the blue and about half of the other two colors. I need to weigh them and see how much yardage I really have left. But I am thrilled with this. I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial for this scarf, for this triangle shawl. Um, next week is when I'm hoping to have that finished. Now that it is finished, I will also say, I'm gonna just, I'll only just give you the full effect. Because she is cute. And so simple and like so very customizable, which is also great. So um, what I really like about this pattern is that it is easy, clear. You have your increases on one side. It's all the linen stitch except for the edging, which is um, the reverse single crochet, which I also go over in the video. You could also make this bigger or smaller depending on what you're going for with your shawl and I absolutely love it. I will also tell you that of all of the yarns that I have blocked, this Malabrigo yarn dried the quickest. And I don't know if it's just the airiness of the stitch or what, but I put it on the blocking mats yesterday and it was completely dry already today. And I wet blocked it. So like I soaked the whole thing and it was also completely dry today, which blew my mind a little bit, but it's good. Cause we're gonna get to see my in-laws next week, um, which I'm really excited about. But I love these colors. I'm actually thinking about making a matching hat to go with this. Um, we'll see. We'll see if I have enough time. I think we leave on Sunday. That should be enough time to make and block a hat, right? Right. Um, so yes, absolutely stunning. This works up with worsted weight yarn. You could also totally do this in a different weight. You could also probably do scraps, like if you picked a main color and then alternated some scraps into it, would also be very pretty. I love it. I love this project. 
I just have a couple of ends that I need to weave in now that it is all blocked. <laughs> so pretty. Very happy with these colors as well. Since I have discovered Malabrigo, we didn't carry it at the yarn shop that I worked at in Kentucky, but they do here in Michigan, um, where I go to and spun, and like they just, their yarns just never disappoint. I love Malabrigo. Next up, let's see, I'll end with that sweater. Next up, I'll show you my sexy gone cardigan, which I actually took to school with me uh, one of these days this week because the students were playing a review game and it required my computer so I couldn't really be grading or doing other things with that. So while they were playing that, while I was monitoring it, I was crocheting, which they thought was pretty cool. So this cardigan, doesn't it look like a cardigan? <laughs> is made from two oversized hexagons and you fold them at a corner to make the cardigan shape. And it's just very, very pretty. This is LaRue cotton, which is always stunning. And it's a fingering weight cotton, which I don't even remember the last time I used a fingering weight cotton, but I'm really enjoying it. I have two skeins of this dark and stormy color, and then I also have this blue skein that I knew I wanted to edge out. In fact, I, also, I cheated this one a little bit because I was short on the sixth side by this much. So I just went ahead and added the blue on that side and I'll just put it at the bottom. Um, but I'm gonna do some rounds around it with the blue. This really pretty, gorgeous blue. And then I'll see, I probably will need another skein or another color to go on the outside of that. But um, I am really enjoying this so far. It's a nice kind of meditative make where you don't have to think too hard about it once you understand how the pattern works. And I just think it's magic that you can make a hexagon and it makes half a cardigan. Um, it felt like forever it was just a baby size cardigan and now it almost feels like, I don't know, a middle schooler's cardigan, like half a, half, something like that, maybe an older kid. I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. And um, I'm excited to kind of watch that grow. And again, these colors are, they're just too good. <laughs> The next one that I've been working on a little bit more recently is kind of a palette cleanser project is this cutie patootie linen stitch square, fancy linen stitch square because it's got kind of those gap rows that I've been making with all of my scrap fingering weight merino wool yarns. And it's just very happy and very cute. I don't know what this is going to become other than a small blanket of some kind or a small backdrop of some kind, but I'm really enjoying making it. And because I'm impatient, adding colors as I go, and then I'll block the whole thing once it's all done. But I like this a lot. And I have a lot, of, I have a lot more squares done, but I'm trying to strategic, strategically place them so that there's not a whole bunch of similar colors together. Cause I have a lot of this purple that I'm also gonna go around the outside with. I have a decent amount of the pink. I've got, I think, two or three more lavender squares. I know I have another one that's this color. I think I've got a couple like this. So, you know, just kind of spreading them out. And then there's at least two more that I need to add. And this one, actually, this is why I pulled the project back out. Um, the shawl that I finished for my sister that I showed you last time is this yarn. So I had enough left over that I made a little, a little square, which makes me very happy. The last project that I'm working on is my birthday sweater, which I feel like I've worked on a ton and does not look like it has grown a ton, but that's fingering weight yarn for you. So let me show you. And I, and this stitch also is a little bit of a yarn hog. Do, 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 do. It's my birthday sweater. So the last time I showed it to you, I think I had just split for the sleeves. So like those are the armholes. It's a little bit off the shoulder. Um, it cracks me up because of the increase. It's, it looks like it, it already has a form to it even without me in it. And then it's just gonna continue to go down and then I'll add sleeves. I am playing yarn chicken with this a lot because I had four skeins total, three of the glittery, blue and then one of this kind of Tiffany blue 
and I knew that that would not be enough based on the arted fortith pattern to make it with the same ease and the same length of sleeves and the length of the body of it that the pattern calls for for my size. So I knew I'd be playing a little bit of yarn chicken. And I think what I might end up doing, depending on how far this current skein gets me, because I have one more skein of this, is to um, get the body at the point where I want it and then whatever I have left over for the sleeves. It's okay if they're short sleeves. Granted, this is a birthday sweater for December in Michigan, but it's not like I'm gonna be wearing it outside without anything over it, so. I'm really pleased with it. I love the way that these colors look. There's no rhyme or reason really to the stripes. It's just kind of as I'm feeling that there needs to be another stripe, I'm adding another stripe. I've also considered adding a third color to the bottom of it. Don't really wanna do that, but we'll see. And some of you might be saying, well, Nicole, if you like this glittery blue so much, just buy more of it. Well, I bought it on um, like a hand dyer's clearance sale. Um, and so I can't really get more of this, which is why I'm playing yarn chicken with it. But it was so pretty and so special, even though I knew it wouldn't quite be enough yarn to make the sweater that I wanted to make. I'm like, that's the birthday color. Like, it's this blue, it goes well with my eyes, it's sparkly. This is the right call. So, like I said, we'll see how all that shakes out. I am pretty creative and I can figure out a creative way to <laughs> find a solution to that problem. And that's really the main things that I'm working on now. Like many people, um, we will be traveling next week, so there will not be a yarn chat next week. So you can catch me the week after when we come back and I'll have lots of fun things to show you because I'm packing a lot of projects, um, both for the road trip from Michigan to Kansas City, as well as that week while we're there. So. Um, you can expect to see a video come out for me next week for the tutorial for this beautiful triangle tricolor shawl, um, but there won't be a podcast episode next week. And with that, I want to leave you with um, what I can't let go of. And what I can't let go of is um, how thankful I am to be where I am right now. Um, I still work a full-time job and it is still a lot of work doing that, but I'm really excited for where I am personally, where I am career-wise, and where that can go next year and looking ahead, um, as well as the next adventures that my husband and I will be taking on next year. So with that, I'll leave you and have a great and restful next week, and I will see you in two weeks. Bye.